Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. You know, um, I hate to be so hard on James Harden. Uh, he definitely ain't big game James. So, this is the thing about James Harden. This is why a lot of people are critical of him. This was the game he should have had the green light to show out. But, to me, he kind of... You know, he he had 11 assists, but this was a game where he should have had the green light to do what he wanted to do. At the end of the day about James Harden, I'm just going to tell the truth. This is very harsh to say this about James Harden, but I'm just keeping it 100. I think when you think of a guy like James Harden and how you think his career may turn out, I think James Harden may be the equivalent to the baseball version, or should I say the NBA version of Sammy Sosa and the football version of Dan Fouts. Good players, but will they win anything? That's very questionable. I just think James Harden just don't know when to turn it on and turn it off. This is just more proof that the Houston Rockets will be bounced out of the playoff in the first second round. I don't think they'll see the the I don't think they'll see the Western Conference Finals. I have the Clippers or the Lakers beating them. Now I'm gonna talk about the Lakers in a minute. I'm gonna talk about the Lakers in a minute and I'm gonna get to them in a minute. But this is the thing that bothers me about James Harden. He scores a lot of times 50 40 meaningless points. This is why a lot of people accuse this dude of worrying about his stats versus winning games. This was the game he should have had the green light. It is no excuse for the Houston Rockets losing this game. The Bucks and the 76ers, I'll talk about that in a minute. That's a different story. But losing to a team that now has eight wins... On a national televised game, people laughing at the Houston Rockets. This is why people don't take them seriously. This is why they just watch James Harden fill up the stat sheets, but they don't think he's going to be holding up that Larry O'Brien trophy because James Harden has just showed that he is not a playoff player. He is a great regular season player. Let's see can James Harden, you know, do this in the playoffs. He's proven that he can't get it done in the playoffs. He always seems to choke in the playoffs and not make big shots. 24 points, like I say, by James Harden standards, not a good night. Because when you, you know, when you basically scoring 35, 45, 55, even sometimes 60 points, you expect it to do more. He the one that set the bar and the expectations high for himself as far as scoring goes. Because he sure had these games against teams where he's where he scores a lot of points. But he seems to do it against most of the time mediocre teams. We want to see him do that against the Spurs. Well, the Spurs are not that good. The Lakers, the Bucks, we want to see him have those 50-point games and lead his team into, into victory. But it is what it is about James Harden. I just don't think he has mental capability to lead a team to the NBA Finals. I think at the end of the day, he's content with losing in the playoffs. But as long as he averages 40 points in the playoff, he's good. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.